for Robot Count 19. So we're at the final step number 20 and I got sidetracked a little bit, uh, did some optimization around here. Uh, there's more splitters here now so that less of it goes up there and more back into the loop. Which also has a splitter up here now so that it doesn't uh, stop feeding stuff if too much is coming from there they get equal chances to enter and then down here we have one big processing machine to make more gravel that's uh, like a good backup for whenever this is empty it'll feed stuff through this tunnel here making it from the dirt uh, coming from these guys and or actually only these two but also the stuff came coming from the train and taking stone off of here doing all this stuff over here got me thinking i could do something else with this cobalt oxide here to use more of it because every time it packs up all the way up to here these guys can't produce any plates and we also got this huge <laughs> warehouse full of it so let's do cobalt plates although those aren't uh, used by anything except uh, these cobalt steel plates which also aren't that useful because they're mainly used by uh, cobalt steel axes and cobalt something armor invar cobalt steel armor i think those might be the only things that use them and i've already gone past them i got i can do this one if i would make sil silicon nitride and i can also do titanium axes already got some down here so they're not really useful but at least it'll get rid of some of this uh, so we need uh, sulfuric acid or what was it yep we got some right here only 1k though Hmm. These guys should be producing it, yeah. And then we also got some coming from over there. Which doesn't produce it very often, though. Uh, sulfur dioxide is being generated by those three. Yeah, there's a good amount of it, 400. I think it's not going over here because I have an overflow thing there. Oh, it's going to the sulfur thing. Hmm. Maybe I should take this out to produce more of this stuff. There we go. Because this isn't producing anything currently. It's full. And speaking of sulfur, I took out the uh, sulfur bullshit and smart chest this stuff over here was just causing too much trouble for what it was worth. Uh, and it's worth being that in certain scenarios it was useful to have all those conditions and whatnot and now i can also take this out nope there's still uh, some in there let's pop it in manually so that i can get rid of you and go uh, oops i'll take those into explosives over here put them in there speaking of which why don't they have any sulfur Shouldn't some be coming on this belt? Did I fuck up one of these? Yes, I did. That one's facing the wrong way. Now it should be coming through from that thing. <coughs> um, then again, explosives aren't that uh, crucial. Because I've got so much ammunition and mines and stuff already. So let's put the overflow valve here instead. Uh, there's no room for it though, unless I... Move this pipe a little bit to there. And uh, I should also set up a uh, personal supply for explosives. I'm thinking this should be fine now because these guys produce um, twice as much of this. Uh, while these guys need like five and nine. So that means some copper dust will be left over but then it'll be funneled up here. Once I put this back, I took it out temporarily at some point. Uh, it was because I inserted a lot of that copper dust, I think. That's why. Let's do a second one right here. Insert into that splitter. I guess it can insert near. It doesn't really matter. And so now any excess copper dust will go over here into these guys. 
And then also upgraded this one into assembly machine 3 to produce it faster. Looks like these guys could also use upgrades on... Oh, uh, wait a minute. But they need faster inserters, seems like. Uh, nope, they need faster output inserters. Damn it, but I can't do that. Well, this one has two, but the other one, there's no room for multiple inserters. Unless I use... Uh, long ones, I guess I could do some candle ones. Let's move the power down. I don't have any power poles. Build more, build more. <coughs> Oops, <laughs> damn it. Stupid robots flying around. I think there might be actually a mod that disables that picking up of robots as they fly by. So let's put these down here instead. I can just replace that with one. That one is not needed either. And then we can fit a few inserters here. Uh, this one. Let's put one there and insert that away. Ah, don't take me away, belt. There we go. And another one there. Do the same thing except going the other way. What about over here? I guess I'll put one there. That way all of them have two inserters, or outserters. Because <laughs> they're taking the output. And that one still has 21 because this one can't insert. Because I've made it a candle one for some reason. I guess it's every other one. Uh, yeah, that one's candle as well, but it seems like the lower... The uh, side is moving, top side not so much. Probably because these guys are picking up from the top side. Well now I can't really tell if we need more inserters or not on both sides because both belts or this belt is full blocking the input and output uh, every once in a while. So maybe I'll move on to those cobalt plates. Oh yeah, I was gonna get uh, sulfuric acid from this. And that's a non-return, there's an overflow. Uh, I could put them here. Well, what is the crafting machine for it? The chemical furnace and the crafting time? 3.5. Chemical, chemical, chemical brother furnace is right there. Maybe one is enough, because I'm not going to be like using them much for anything. Then again, that's gonna be slow to get rid of stuff, so let's do two. There we go, two electric chemical furnaces, making cobalt plates, and decided to put them here. There's more room here than over there. And I managed to do a pipe straight up to there after adding this tunnel. Uh, so we get the sulfur dioxide from there. And this way also these guys will will uh, supply cobalt oxide over there. Uh, this, uh, these guys won't be able to catch any of it. They only get stuff from these four in this epic warehouse. So now we need to combine that with iron plates. Uh, I think there might be some over there somewhere. Uh, what is this stuff? It's Invar. Yeah, there's some iron plates. I could get it over here or get the iron plates over there. Uh, let's get the iron plates over there because there's a lot of things that require iron plates and someday I might build something over there. They require them. Meanwhile, the cobalt plate is only required by this thing and nothing else, I think. And there it is, three electric uh, metal mixing furnaces making cobalt steel plates. And check out the uh, crafting time, 35! It requires 14 iron plates. Kind of funny that it doesn't require steel, but instead a lot of iron plates. I guess it mixes the iron into steel first and then into cobalt steel or something like that. Uh, anyway, then it's going over here into this passive provider chest, oh, actually. How many does it generate? Ten. So maybe I need faster out, but at least the express one there. Wondering if these ones are empty. It's just this one that has a little bit extra in there, but it should have plenty of time to 
empty that while this process goes along. Well, now I can say that I've built everything related to cobalt. There's the Inmar cobalt steel armor, and there's a cobalt steel axe. But then again, this thing isn't powered, so it's not as good as the power armor. Uh, let's compare the resistances 758. 758, huh? So it does have the same shield capacity, zero. Maybe it actually has some. No, if you right click on it, nothing happens, unlike with this thing. So that takes care of that. Now back to level 4 science. Uh, or I could do, what was it, the uh, polishing compound stuff to get rid of more of the uh, sodium hydroxide or whatever that white stuff is called that I'm burning over here. What is it? Yep, sodium hydroxide. Uh, polishing thing was in here, was it, or in here? There it is, so just light oil and alumina. It's time for the shining, except I don't have any uh, gemstones to polish with, uh, polish yet. But at least once I do, I'll have a nice supply of polishing compound in here. So we get the alumina coming from up there, and the light uh, oil coming through here. Maybe I should add it up. It's a long way, but there's no spot for it unless I move this titanium pipe a little bit. Let's use the express one since I happen to have one. And while I was doing that pipe over here, I noticed that the uh, petroleum gas is almost gone, or like hovering around 70 constantly, which is hurting my plastic production. But then again, none of these are full, so the uh, only way to improve would be to either build more of these or add modules to them. I'm surprised there are no Mark II or Mark III or whatever version of these, though. Or uh, also, I could build more of these, but then the light oil might run out, which I don't want to happen. And then this might fill up, I don't know. Uh, there is plenty of oil down here, so maybe another refinery somewhere would help. Uh, but where the hell am I gonna put it? It needs so many inputs and outputs. Might be able to squeeze this that way and add it here somewhere. Well, it took some rearranging of the pipes, but I managed to fit another... Uh, refinery. This one Gior is Georgie Corbico Brastan, and this one is Neo One M Matrix. Clearly, some sort of internet names. Kalazar, uh, Anticalia is still there. I don't want to move that one. <laughs> and Newbie Edge over here at the edge. <laughs> uh, right, so now we got uh, almost the same amount of petroleum, maybe a little bit more. What about these? 7.16.76.6 7.6. Mm, Seems like the same amount. So maybe I need even more, or maybe I should get some of these modules in here. Really sucks that there's no Mark 2 or 3 or 4 version of these, because if you compare it to like this, you can insert 4 modules, and this one has like 5, and the next level probably has 6 module spots. Uh, let's see, I think I should be able to do some by hand. And booyah! Now we got level 4 productivity and speed modules in each of them. I could even go for uh, the raw speed modules, which are a combo of effectivity and speed, and also raw productivity, which need productivity, effectivity, and pollution cleaning ones. Or even the guard one, but these take a long time to build up by hand, and while I was building them by hand, I uh, built these two here for the level 4 science packs, and now they're getting batteries from there, and then this uh, belt will take it all the way to the labs. So then we just need the uh, logic boards, belts, and silicon nitride. Logic boards are here. I'm trying to figure out uh, where to put this, maybe. And there. And then it goes this way. Move that out of the way. Let's put it there. It'll cover all the area. And then 
Use this faster underground belt, which I have an odd number of. Still, I haven't found where the other end is. Damn it, didn't reach all the way. So let's put it somewhere like there. Actually, here and move these things like so. Power can come from up there. And this will go over here. Why are there no logic boards coming through? Did I not? Uh, yeah, I didn't connect it yet. Let us correct that. Here they come. And then we just need a few inserters over here. Alright, one step closer again to the science pack 4. So for express belts, I'm thinking a uh, requester chest because they are somewhere over here. I don't want to do a whole line, uh, assembly, not assembly line, but uh, transport belt just for them. So let's plop this down somewhere like there and have it request some of those. Let's put it up to 100, I guess. I have some on me, so might as well put them in there. So we need one more thing, although that uh, has multiple phases to it. Silicon nitride, I think it's that one there on the icon. That one. Powdered silicon nitrogen. 1.3 nitrogen, <laughs> interesting amount. <laughs> uh, so we just need a silicon plate to be powdered by a manufacturing machine. That means I might need to build more silicon plates, but there's no room here. I already got these three, but maybe I can upgrade. Nope, they need tungsten and ceramic pipes. Uh, maybe they are enough. I don't know how much these guys need. It depends on how much electronics is being used. Right now, these are pumping out full gear. So these things should also be uh, being used. Uh, what do they need? Do all of these down here except for... Uh, actually everything down here. All, all three plus solders from over there. But it seems like there's plenty of silicon wafers over here. So let's continue with the silicon uh, plates, quote-unquote plates up there somewhere. Another step complete. Didn't decide to go any further than this. Might as well use this space because uh, I don't really need this water except for that thing which can also be replaced by a land-based pump if needed. So the silicon just continues here into these two. I don't know if they're enough but I can always add more here. And then their stuff goes up this way. I was thinking of doing the next phase somewhere over here so that I can insert the, uh, what was it, silicon nitride onto this belt because that's already going to the uh, science pack factories. So let's figure out uh, we need uh, chemical furnaces and it takes 7.5. Can't fit that many here though, or maybe on this side. There we go, now they're coming over here. The uh, powdered silicon stuff, now I just need nitrogen into these things. And that is made from comp compressed air. So I should have room for two tanks. Then again, they're not entirely necessary, the tanks, but it's nice to have them. Uh, it only takes one time units so I'm thinking maybe one compressor is more than enough especially if it's a mark 3 